Hey, good morning. Welcome to the prayer porch. It's good to have you here today. I um, I'm just really excited about today's word because have you ever been in scripture and you've read it over and over and over again and you just like, okay, that's just, I don't get it. I just don't get it. And then all of a sudden one day you're just reading it in this aha, oh, that's it. I get it comes in mind and that's sort of what happened with me this time um, in the scripture that I want to share with you today and the scripture I want to share with you today is one that again uh, it's common in the word it comes from the Sermon on the Mount and it's known as the Beatitudes and I, when I was a little kid there's all these little songs about Beatitudes it's what your attitude should be and the first very first one has always ever since I was a little girl be like what that doesn't make sense because it says, and I'm in Matthew chapter five, get your word out, Matthew chapter five, verse five. So five, five, and it's, I'm sorry, five, three, five, three, five, three, five, three. And it says, blessed are those who are poor in spirit because they realize the need for him for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Now, this was the difference. I got this new translation, it's the New Living Translation, because when you memorize it as a kid, it says, blessed are those who are poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. And I thought, poor in spirit, poor in spirit. Well, when I pulled it up on the Bible app, it was interesting because the version that was on the Bible app translated it and said, blessed are those who are in spiritual poverty. And I thought, now that doesn't make sense either. Spiritual poverty is like an oxymoron because as you grow in God, you grow in his richness, not in his poverty. So I don't understand this. How is it that yours is the kingdom of heaven if it truly means that you are impoverished? In other words, you're starving your, your spirit. You can't starve your spirit and become closer to heaven. So that didn't make sense to me. But then, I went to, into a study and actually I've been wanting to do this since last Thursday. I've had these notes out since last Thursday to um, share and then something I, I found something else and I just did it. And so I've come back to this today. I've revisited this today because, which is kind of cool because I think I'll put it on hold because he just kept bringing me other verses where this is said again and again and again because when I got the, my, my new Bible here when I got my Bible out with the New Living Translation it said blessed are those who in poor in spirit and then it has a little parenthesis and it says those who realize that they need him so I was in some other references and I'm going to give you some cross references here that I want you to run to and they I want you to write them down first and then I'm going to go over and visit these real quick. It's in Isaiah chapter 41 and I want you to look at Isaiah 41 verse 13, Isaiah 41 verse 17, then Isaiah 57 15 and Isaiah 66 2. Because every one of these verses reiterate how we can come, when we come into God's presence, totally humbled, totally submitting who we are and realizing, Lord, I can only be all that I can be when I surrender myself to be only you in me. When I can tr quit trying to define who I am and what I am and what I'm supposed to be. And I give that finally to you totally. That is when I find the fullness of your glory. That is when I am in your presence the most, when I am totally surrendered to you. Now, when I went back and read Matthew chapter five, it made total sense. Blessed are those who are in total surrender. They surrender their spirit and say, I am none of me and all of you. They're saying, make my life a living sacrifice that's holy and acceptable to you, Lord. I want to let out everything that I have and fill myself with you. I want when people look at me not to say, I know Lori, but to say, Kali, I, I see Jesus in her. I see, I want something she has. Not I want to be who she is. I want something she has because she is him 
and he makes a difference in her life. And there's a difference in that. So today, I want to be one who is poor in spirit. Blessed are those who are poor in spirit. Those who realize how much they need him because the kingdom of heaven is theirs. I ask you to join me in being humble in spirit. Get your scripture out, read it. Go to Matthew chapter five, read the Beatitudes. Blessed means happy and happy are we when we surrender to him. Hey, it's good talking to you. See you tomorrow in the prayer porch. If you like it, like, share. Let's get everything out. Make a comment. All of those things help me get the word out on um, well, on the uh, prayer porch. So uh, I love you. Have a great day. On a side note, I'm sitting here watching. My hair is getting really curly. It's very humid here. <laughs> That's a side note. But I'm just sitting there like, ah. Oh. So anyhow, hey, have a great day.